Let's get right to it. In this series, I'm detailing how you exactly prepare for a job as whatever. And in this video, we're going to focus on the machine learning engineer. Now, I'm not going to regurgitate what I've already said in prior videos. I'll just put a link to the videos below in the comment sections on what you need to know. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'd do if I were you. Do keep in mind, I've worked at Uber and Microsoft, and I've turned down roles at SpaceX and Amazon. So I've been around. I'm going to break this down into two groups of people. The first group are those who aren't in IT, and the second group are those who are in IT and are in a data-related role. If you don't have data experience, companies don't want you. Check out this job post by Chick-fil-A. It's perfect. Check out the bullet point that starts with, if formally trained in quantitative field, whatever, 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 call out evidence of prior data engineering work, like experience building or managing databases using ETL tools or building or managing data APIs. The line should be in every single job description for every post for every machine learning engineering role. I promise you a master's and a PhD means nothing if you don't have data skills, and this proves it. Okay, you've been warned. Your advanced degrees mean very little without real-world experience. So the question then becomes, how do you get a job in machine learning with no IT experience? Well, the answer is you don't. And I'm serious. I don't know one person hired as a machine learning engineer, or a data engineer for that matter, that didn't come from within IT. Not one. If my end goal was to become a machine learning engineer, and I wasn't already in an IT role, then I'd do whatever I could to get into an IT role. Unfortunately, this isn't that easy in the data space. Why? Because there's only really one entry-level role that's data-related, and that's the data analyst. If I were starting from scratch, I'd become a data analyst. Why? Because many machine learning engineering roles list SQL and tools you'll be learning as a data analyst. Let's look at another job. Here's a junior-level role. Check out the bullet point on data visualization. Look what it says. Tableau, Power BI, etc. What that means is, as a data analyst, you're going to be gaining experience with tools companies require for the machine learning engineering roles. All right, let's recap. What I do with no IT experience, I would, number one, get a SQL certification. Number two, get a Power BI or Tableau certification. And number three, get an Azure or AWS certification. I promise you certifications are going to get you interviews. If you aren't in IT, your goal needs to be to get into an IT role. And get into a data-related role if you can. Once I attained my first job as a data analyst, I'd begin learning machine learning. I'd focus on data cleansing and applied statistics. Don't focus on modeling. Most modeling has been democratized. What you'll be doing most of the time in the real world is working with data. Modeling has become the easy part. Don't believe me? Then take it from one of the world's top AI researchers, Andrew Ng. In an interview last year, he said, the model for many real-world problems is a solved problem. Now, if you aren't familiar with the term model democratization, it simply means that models can be used by anyone. There's no need to understand the underlying math because the top models already exist, and your job is to feed data to them. Now, if you're thinking, you're just saying that because you don't know the math behind the models. Really? Head over to my course on LogicBot and take my course on authoring the top machine learning models from scratch. I think you'll see math as the easy part, and authoring the models in Python is the not-so-easy part. All right, let's wrap up. If you're not in an IT role, get in an IT role. If you aren't in a data role, get in a data role. And I'd suggest a data analyst role. Once you're in a data analyst role or other data-related role, hone your SQL skills and start learning machine learning. I'll put a link below to a video on what you should be focusing on and what you should be learning for machine learning. Now, I can tell you that the most important class you'll ever take is the data cleansing class. Every machine learning model is only as good as the data you feed it. Garbage in and garbage out. The more skilled you are at data cleansing, the more employable you'll be. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.